Good morning. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass at St. Gregory the Great. My name is Magdalene Halas, and I will be your lecturer for this Mass. Our celebrant will be uh, Monsignor Zapfo, assisted by Deacon Greg Gollin. We have a few announcements. Our Scouts and Knights of Columbus will hold a flag retirement ceremony on Saturday, April 27. If you have a flag that needs to be retired, see the bulletin and call the phone number. Take and read the bulletin for important information on Vacation Bible School, the Summer Family Faith Formation Program, the shredding event, our spring mulch sale, the great sponsorships, and much more. As you may know, one of our parishioners who are actively involved with altar server and youth ministries suffered the loss of their home due to a house fire. We kindly ask anyone who can donate a gift card to drop it off at the parish office or in the collection basket next weekend. You may also use the donation drop box located in the parish vestibule. Thank you, parish office vestibule. Thank you. Readings for this liturgy are located uh, in the gathering book, number 1168. 1168. At this time, I ask you to stand, please, and welcome those around you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm Father Zepfel, the vicar forain for this area, the bishop's representative for the church here. So I'm very happy to be with you this morning to celebrate this Eucharist as we continue in our Easter season. We celebrate the resurrection of the Lord and the hope which that gives to each and every one of us. We are an Alleluia people all the time. All the time we are an Easter people, for we look forward to the return of the Lord at the end of time, when we will all be taken up into the kingdom of God's glory. For the times when we have strayed from the path that leads to heaven, we take a moment now, call to mind our faults and our failures, And we ask the Lord for his forgiveness, for his peace, and for his help to do a little better. 
Lord Jesus, you become known to us in the breaking of the bread. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your hands and your feet were pierced for the salvation of the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, by your resurrection, you have restored our lives. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the, in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward with confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We invite the children to come forward now for the dismissal. Good morning, boys and girls. It's so nice to be with you this morning. Thank you for coming. A few weeks ago, we celebrated Easter, and Jesus, who died for us, he lives now for all of us. He loves us so much. Every day, remember how much Jesus loves you and that he wants to be part of your life and in your heart every day, and that'll help you get to heaven one day, where we all want to go. God bless you. Let's take it and leave him out.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life to put, you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, 
we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Greg, may the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily and with great joy proclaim his holy gospel, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your sisters. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified, and they thought they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they were still incredulous with joy and were amazed, he asked them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning again, and everyone, and thank you for coming this morning. I'm happy to be here, sort of, <laughs> sort of happy. I'm feeling well, but wearing a mask because I'm really allergic to lilies. What a great time of year. <laughs> In a couple minutes, you'll, you'll see all of the lilies will start pointing toward me and shooting out their pollen right at me. So the mask helps a lot. We are here in the Easter season. 
We extend the celebration of Holy Saturday, the vigil, Easter Sunday, the joy of Easter throughout this Easter season. The Easter season is almost double the Christmas season. We're always an Alleluia people. We extend that celebration of a couple weeks ago. What are we really celebrating? We're really celebrating an event of 2,000 years ago, the resurrection of Jesus himself. That's what we're celebrating. But that's a lot of looking back. And the opening prayer this morning refocuses our attention, refocuses our prayers. We're about the future. We prayed that we might have confident hope in the coming of the Lord, in the day of resurrection. It's all about the future. We're an Alleluia people today because we know what the future is going to be for certain. It's the resurrection of the, of the just. All of us together, God's faithful, united forever in the kingdom of heaven. And so the scripture passages from the last several weeks have been a presentation by the church for us, a recom- an invitation to a recommitment to us to the future. The church is making the case for Jesus Christ. It does this almost as if the church is an attorney in a courtroom. It presents the evidence over and over again. Last week we heard the story of the two men who were walking along on their way to a town outside of Jerusalem, Emmaus, and Jesus appeared to them. In the Gospel passage today, that story is continued as the two men are now back in Jerusalem telling others they have seen the Lord. The Lord is truly alive. He spoke with us. He talked with us. He presents evidence of the presence of Jesus alive. And so, we hear in today's passage from Luke, and the other Gospel writers as well, but Luke has his own perspective. More than any of the other Gospels, Luke relies on the presentation of the prophets of the past the holy men and women throughout the Jewish literature. And you heard Jesus say in Luke's Gospel today, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Moses. Luke's follow-up to the Gospel, his writing of the Gospel, is of course the Acts of the Apostles. We heard that at the first reading for most of the Easter season, and today as well. And again, Luke emphasizes that Jesus fulfills the hope and the dreams, the prayers, the longing of centuries of religion, of faith, of the people's relationship with God who promised to send a Messiah. Jesus is presented today in the scripture passages, in the gospel especially, as being present to his people, as being right there. He doesn't give up his humanity. He shows his humanity right up front. And this is part of the evidence that Jesus, who was dead, is truly alive now. So he says to them, well, do you have something to eat? I'm hungry. And they give him some fresh fish and probably some bread, a typical Jewish breakfast. Then he says, look at my hands. Look at my feet. See that it is really I who stand before you. These are the marks. These are the scars that I have from offering my life for you. Jesus tells us this in today's Christmas passages. The scars are still there. They're not bleeding anymore, but they're still there. To remind us that Jesus was sent by the Father to die on the cross for us so that we might know God's mercy in its fullness, so that we might know God's peace through that mercy his forgiveness given out of love. And that's maybe why Jesus, over and over again, when he appears in his resurrected body, always says to the people, to who's ever present there, the same thing over and over again. Peace be with you. You can only have peace in our hearts if we know a little bit about the future if we have something to live for, something to be for. And so that's what the resurrection is all about. Telling us 
who we are as resurrection people, telling us who we are as hopeful people all the time. Even when hope is sometimes difficult, even when hope is challenged, we are hopeful people at our core. We are Easter, Alleluia people at our core. It always amazes me, even after this many years of priesthood, that when I go to a wake, there's very frequently someone there who's been a lifelong Catholic. And certainly I know the person is in mourning, and they'll ask the question, Father, do you really believe that we'll see my husband, my child, my, my relative, my friend, do we really believe that there's a resurrection? And I don't even hesitate, I don't take a second breath, I just say, absolutely, this is the core of our faith, that Jesus, who died for us, rose for us so that we might have the hope of rising from the dead with the Lord one day. And I know that at a time of loss, no one thinks straight. At a time of mourning, emotions are high, and we start to question, start to doubt. But all of us at different times in our lives need that reassurance that the present difficulties, the present troubles, the present crosses that we bear, the blessings even that come our way are all focused on one thing, getting us to heaven. That is our destiny. It's our calling. It's why we were made to live one day forever with God in heaven. This is why the church is so persistent. This is why in Luke's gospel, he recalls the past and then reminds the people of the promises made by God throughout the centuries to send a Messiah. He might not look like what you were hoping for. He might not ride into Jerusalem on a white horse and kick out the Roman army, but rather he's a Messiah of the heart, of our lives, of our love. This is what Jesus seeks to conquer. The, 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 the fear that we have, the lack of hope that we sometimes have, we're reminded during this Easter season that we are always filled with hope because of Christ Jesus. We're not filled with hope because of our own strength. We're not filled with hope because of our own way of thinking or what we think is right, but what the Lord invites us to, a relationship in love with the Father through the grace of Jesus and the power of their spirit. Always, 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 true love, faithful love from our Heavenly Father reminds us that we are hope-filled people, always looking for that resurrection. I'm sometimes reminded as I go through the prayers of a funeral liturgy, we pray that we might have hope, and then we might have firm hope, and then that we might have firm and certain hope. It's almost as if the church leads us along to make sure that we're not left behind in our hopelessness that looking forward to the resurrection creates a perspective on life that every Christian is called to have. Every disciple of Jesus is called to have each and every day. We ask the Lord today to renew us in hope, in that confident hope that the Lord who promised to be with us always is eager one day to welcome us into the kingdom of heaven forever in God's love, in God's peace, in God's life. God bless you. Please stand. We are united in prayer and in faith with the church throughout the world. With the Church, we pray as we believe. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen.
We turn to our Heavenly Father now, confident that in his love for us, he always hears our prayers. For the church, may she continue to witness to believe in the resurrection by her commitment to uphold the gift of life for all persons. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christian legislators, may they witness to the resurrection of Jesus by supporting health care of high quality for all people, especially infants and children. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle with doubt in the resurrection, may the spirit of truth guide them to true faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For believers, that the one sacrifice of Christ that has redeemed all humanity inspire them to pursue integrity of word and deed in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who taste the goodness and peace of Christ in this gathering, that we be built up as a community of compassion for the needy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Alison Mantione, whom we pray for in a special way at this Mass, and for our own prayers and intentions, which we offer now in prayer for silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died in faith, may they be granted the rewards and blessings of the kingdom, especially those who have passed on this week from our parish and faith community. Jenny Gaspar, Michael Campagna, Robert Pugliese, Anita Henretti, Joseph Anthony De Peters, Sally Simandera, David Dombrowski, George Landway, Patricia Fallon. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the Beatitudes, Jesus teaches us that the peacemakers are to be called children of God. We pray for all those who seek to make peace in the Middle East, in Ukraine, in Africa, in South America, and in our own land. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers, inspired by your Holy Spirit and offered in the name of Christ, Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Our ushers will not take up the collections. The gifts will be brought to the altar by the Dombrowski family. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.
classifica alto per me. Just a real couple dots. That's good, thanks. Perfect, thanks guys. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given us cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness one day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times, and especially during this Easter season, to yet more gloriously proclaim Christ, our Passover, who has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the, sl the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, with Easter joy, we join the angels and saints in the unending hymn of your glory as, they, as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Michael, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, St. Gregory the Great, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we too may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, we pray in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other that same sign of Christ's peace. Peace with you. Thanks, Greg. Peace with you. Thank you, Maddie. Peace with you. Thank you. Peace with you. Thank you. Peace with you. Thank you, Tom. You. Thank you. You. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Ali o Cash Guy? O Ali o Cash? Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Sing to the Thank you. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Stick out your tongues. The body of Christ. Stick out your tongue. There you go. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Kathy. Body of Christ, Larry. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Stick out your tongue. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. Say amen. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. God bless you. Body of Christ. 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 The body of God bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. God bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Say amen. 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 It's okay. Oh, you won't receive. Okay. God bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. God bless you. The body of Christ. God bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Good enough? You can pray? Huh? Yeah. Let us pray. Look with kindness on your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that you, those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may obtain in our flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection one day. We ask this through Christ Jesus, who is Lord, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. A good day, everyone.